um, control the OSD of the camera uh, from this uh, PDC control. All you have to do is press the iris open button and it will show you this OSD menu right here. It doesn't show very well on my screen because I have a white background and the OSD is, is also white color. The font is in white color. But basically I can change uh, all the settings on the camera without getting on the ladder and press that little button where in the old days where you have the little buttons on the cable that you have to change the settings. Here you can just uh, with a click of a mouse and change the settings right here. Um, for example, like the uh, day and night, right now it's set at auto. Uh, the black white control, which is off right now, we can change the settings uh, right here to turn on the BLC. We can change the settings to WDR, the wide dynamic range, uh, or I can go with HLC. Uh, in this case, because the lighting condition is very good on the street, so we just turn it off. Now, also the nighttime about this camera is the the day, daytime normally the camera is not a problem, but at nighttime um, it really depends on how sensitive the sensor is and also how good the lens are. Um, this lens is a 3 megapixel 2.7 to 12 millimeter f 1.4, so you get a very big uh, aperture. Um, it gives you very very nice. Uh, nighttime image. Uh, we usually set our camera just uh, at color mode so you stay in color mode during the nighttime and the IR doesn't even come on and it gives us a very good uh, picture at night and give us a good description of say a vehicle or a person what color they are dressed or what color clothes they are wearing. Um, but by default it's under auto, meaning it will turn into black and white and the eye will come on at night. But in places where you have some lights, you can just simply uh, change it to, well, right now it's in black and white, you change it to black and white and you can change it to color again so it stays in color at night. And also the exposure uh, settings, you can do it from here. Uh, there's a few different settings. Right now it's on auto. We can change to no noise. Low noise is it is uh, kind of like slows down the shutter and let more lights come into the camera, so you have a low uh, the lowest noise level at nighttime. Uh, and then also this uh, low motion blur. It's also a, a, a settings for mostly for nighttime because it keeps the shutter speed a little bit higher. So the moving vehicle or a person that's walking is less motion blur. And that feature is also uh, built in. Of course, you have the manual mode where you can uh, set it yourself. I've changed the setting on the shutter, the gain control, and um, gain minimum and gain max maximum. These are some advanced features that this camera comes with. And to change all these settings, you don't have to get on the ladder and change it on the camera. You can just do it right here. Uh, in front of a, your screen and the DVR with a click of a mouse. Um, I like it a lot. It's a lot easier for us when we uh, install a camera and try to change the settings. Uh, I have other videos that shows the uh, picture quality at night and during the day and please watch them. Thank you. I don't have to do that. Uh, all you have to do is right click and do a PVZ and you can control the zoom, let go of the button and see it down here where it says AF. In a few seconds you will say done. It will auto focus for you. Okay, now it's focused so and it's picture perfect. You wouldn't have to fine tune it or anything. This is automatic done by the uh, DSP inside the camera and also the, uh, the lens, the multi lens. Now, um, I can, I'm going to zoom back out again to 2.7 and give you a wide angle view of this camera. Now, in the old days, when you want some features like this, you will have to uh, connect an extra pair of wire for the RS485 control. But on the